You will find the miracle of this book is if you come looking for it and you reflect inside this book and you dig and ponder into this book, then it will become clear this can only be from God. If you give it a shallow look, it will give you nothing. If you decide to dive in deep, I had a friend in college who was born in a Muslim family, but they're not very religious family. They sent him to college. He decided to do a bachelor's in philosophy. What happens in a, after a bachelor's in philosophy? Your iman has a janaza. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. So he's completely gone off the deep end. He's, he's an agnost. He's a skeptic. He doesn't believe in anything. He's not even sure if he exists. You know, he's one of those guys. He's out there floating in space. And then he was challenged to ponder on the Qur'an, just ponder over the Qur'an. And so he did. He brought all of his philosophical questions, all of his, from every ism you can think of, he brought to the Qur'an. And he just studied it for a couple of years. He just studied the Qur'an, asking it questions, hoping he can find something he can, that can finally, philosophy can crush this book. But he kept getting defeated by this book. And you know, people that study philosophy love to debate. So when they lose a debate, they get really ticked off. Their ego is hurt. So they want to come back and crush it this, the next time. So he keeps coming back with more criticisms, but he's not arguing with a person. Who's he arguing with? This book, he just debated with this book. He used to like literally slam it shut sometimes because it shut him up. He was looking for it. it. I bet you it doesn't have an answer for this. And he reads it, oh, it's there again. I gotta find something else. And he would go back and forth angry with this book. And two years later, he, he told me himself, it, I wrestled this book and it pinned me down. And I came to this thing. Yeah, I know. I, I, it pinned me down. This is La Riba Fi. But it doesn't give itself for free. He could have been a philosophy student, read a translation of the Qur'an and say, ah, nothing here, and move on. But if you decide to ponder, why am I saying ponder? That's not something I came up with. That's something Allah's own claim. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُنَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِي اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا Don't they then reflect on the Qur'an? Because had it been from someone, anyone other than Allah, they would have found a lot of contradictions in it. By the way, if you study the Qur'an in a shallow way, you will find contradictions. Allah says if they reflect, they will not find contradictions.